Picture yourself in a world where the line between fact and fiction is microscopic. A world where north is south, hot is cold, and the audience becomes the attraction. Hey, girl. We're nothing is certain. Did I just step on a Lego or is that a machete inside my foot? <laughs> is that a modern work of art or did Helen Keller just decide to finger me? Hi. <laughs> The year is 1962 A.D. or C.D. for those on a perpetual mission to find something to be offended about. <laughs> a tiny room tucked inside the Cornell Hall where a group of architects are finalizing the design plans of the infamous Worcester Hall. The most hideous fucking building in the world. <laughs> Come with me on a journey to find out what happened inside that conference room. Come with me on a journey to find out when worse truly became Worcester. As we enter, <laughs> the Twilight Zone. <laughs> I am not freaking out, okay? I'm fine. All I'm saying is that we have to present the plans by two, and it's 1.30, and we haven't even seen the designs yet. Quit your worrying, Stella. Joseph Bestrick has a job, and he is the best architect in the business. Terry's right. I'm sure the designs will be spectacular. Joseph is an architectural genius. An artistic monolith. An absolute godsend to the creative world. A flashy fluke. And he's late too. Again. How can we trust him? Worcester Hall is going to be the architecture building. It needs to display architectural beauty. And it will. Do not doubt the Joseph Eschereck. It'll be the most beautiful building in all of Berkeley. In all of America. In all of the world. <laughs> you is a bitch's daddy's home. Don't fret, Stella. I have the plans right here. Feast your eyes on the glory that Da Vinci himself would drool over. It's brilliant, a true work of art. As beautiful as the pyramids, the Colosseum, or the Eiffel Tower. What the hell are those stone platforms doing on each window? Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so edgy. No, no, no. I'm asking Joseph why they're there. Why does the head of me a stone tablet the size of a queen-size bed above it? Well. To block out the sun. <laughs> yeah, because plastic blinds are just too easy and practical. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to understand. The reasoning behind them goes beyond mere human recognition, past the bounds of cognitive comprehension. I could explain to you how I came up with the notion, but I can't promise that you'd understand it. Tell us! Tell, tell us! Please. Very well. If you insist, I suppose I shall impart upon you the story. <laughs> It began back when I started thinking about how to design Worcester Hall. <laughs> Someone on the car ride over here? The song of a dad! As I was searching for my inner source of energy, the life force I cherish most. I was lost without it. Nothing without it. Oh, how I scowled up and down, left and right for it. But I could not seem to unveil its location. I was searching, just searching for it. I knew that if I found it, it would quench my creative yearning. All would be well for the Worcester design, but where was it? Where was it? My mind was. Like a button that makes a clicking noise. <laughs> it was in my top drawer. I rushed to my bedroom, opened up the drawer, and there it was. The tabs of life. Oh, how beautifully they gleamed in the light. I carefully placed the transcendental strip on the tip of my tongue and then it dissolved. Delicately. Oh, so delicately. <laughs> So, you dropped acid? That's how you come up with the idea? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Appreciate him, Stella! Appreciate him! He's a genius! A legend! Yeah, whatever. Let me see the designs again. If you wish. And why is it not painted? The plain cement makes it look like a fucking medieval fort. Must I explain myself yet again? Did Christopher Columbus have to explain himself when he landed on the virgin soil of India? 
You don't need no man to tip with us, okay. <laughs> If you must know, the cause of artistry is said to be a sign, a physical sign blatant and unfaltering. The gray-colored pencil just so happened to be the only one that was left sharpened in my pencil case. Coincidence? I think not! Artistry in its finest, Joseph, the pinnacle of architectural prowess. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea how important this project really is? And what about this big fucking smokestack? I bet you have some insightful, ingenious explanation for that one too, don't you? Yup. <laughs> it was late last night. I needed creative inspiration, so I read Les Bounds with my two most adored lovers, Rebecca and Ashley. What began as conversation soon evolved into a much bigger beast. We began to feel the power of art welling up inside us. Yes! Yes! And we began to dance! <laughs> Now you've been exposed to the truth. Now you've been exposed to the Twilight Zone. 